How you doing, YouTube? Matt with Massive Beer Reviews, back with yet another review. And a little aged, aged review time, aged American barley wine review time in the form of uh, Alesmith's Old Numbskull. Um, I've already reviewed this beer, but I reviewed it almost a year ago, to the nose, I think, very close, um, and it was a year or two um, newer, or younger than this bottle. This bottle is a 2010 bottle um, given to me by, I forget, I, the second time I forget his name, I think it was Jim or John or whatever, I'm just a douche like that I guess, that I forget names, but it's a personal flaw of mine. Anyway, um, he wrote me, a um, local guy wrote me, he said, hey, I have some Ale Smith stuff, and I know you like age stuff, so you want to give it a whirl? I said, hell yeah, we did a little beer trade, so here we go. Um, yeah, super excited to give this a whirl, five-year-old American Barley Wine, that shouldn't suck, hopefully, so we'll see what happens. Um, and Alesmith is pretty awesome. And this isn't super, super cold. It's sweating like a bastard, as I am sweating like a bastard, because it is 80 degrees and like 90% humidity in my house right now. Anyway, uh, as far as what it says in a bottle, Alesmith, Old Dumb Skull, Barley Wine, Ale, uh, American Barley Wine Ale. Um, let's see, 2000 Chicago Real Ale Festival Monthly Award winner. Uh, Old Dumb Skull is a handcrafted barley wine style ale, big and hoppy with citrus and resin overtones. It has a rich yet subtle flavor and clean, dry finish. Watch out, though. If you're not careful, Old Gnome Skull may live up to its name. For some information about Old Gnome Skull, go to the website. It says serve it 50 to 55. It was 54 when I pull it out of my uh, fridge. And there you go. Label-wise, it's cool. It's Alesmith. Nice foil top. Screen printing. Basic. To the point. Pretty badass. So there you go. Let's see what this sucker has to offer. I've been waiting to crack into this. I got this over a month ago. It's a long time for me to wait for a beer. So... Yeah. Especially aged stuff. Oops. Really not much of a sound coming off there, so hopefully she was sealed good. She doesn't look funky. I'm not really getting much of a head off that sucker, so hopefully she's okay. Um, like I said, really no head. It would be close to what I like coffee to be color-wise if there was a head there, but not much going on there head-wise. Color-wise, beautiful, nice, mm, got a whiff of it, might be south, um, nice unfiltered haziness to it, really dark, rich caramel toffee in color, which hopefully is the same thing in the taste, so I'm going to get in and snooze and see what we got going on here. Oh, no, it's hard to tell sometimes with the nose, but I think we might be all right here. Um, you got a little bit of tartness going on, which shouldn't be there, a little bit of apple skin going on, but other than that... I mean, a nice, rich molasses, rich brown sugar, like a caramelized brown sugar. Definite some toffee going on in that sucker. Really, just throw out brown candy-like things, and that's what's going on in this sucker. There's definite hot presence in the nose, but if you watch any of my pre previous reviews, I talk about like a, a ghost of a hop. You can smell hops are involved, but you can smell that they've kind of been pulled out of there to some extent. Not sure what that makes sense would be until we taste it. Yeah, I mean, it smells like a, a flambéed brown sugar dessert, which is insanely delicious in my book, so yeah. So yeah, let's see what this sucker has to offer. She looks cool. She smells cool. Little caveats in there. Let's see if you taste like. Cheers. That's delicious. Definitely some oxidation going on. A little bit of thinness, ever so slightest bit of wet paper going on. But other than that, you're getting a fucking sugar daddy in your mouth. That's what it is. I'm drinking a sugar daddy right now. Hot presence, 99.9% .9 gone. There's that lingering, lingering hot presence there. Which is zero booze whatsoever. What did I say? Alcohol content, 11%. Zero booze whatsoever. Like I said, it's a sugar daddy. I don't even want, I don't want to explain anything else. It's liquefied sugar daddy. Beautiful, like a, it's not, like I said, there's a bit of thinness there, but it has a beautiful, almost, I don't, 
it sounds kind of negative, but like a, or like a, a, a gritty texture to it. You can actually see like particles suspended in the beer itself. You probably won't be able to pick that up on camera, but you can see it. It's not a negative thing. Super delicious. Age, based off of, I've had this fresh, I've had this a couple years old. Age has done this fantastic. Um, like I said, there's a bit of oxidation going on. You can kind of tell by the pour. I mean, not that barley wine is going to throw a huge head out there, but it's a little bit flat, a little bit oxidized, but absolutely better now than it would be if it was four years newer and not oxidized. would love to get a perfect bottle of this age, because I think it just might blow my doors off. So, yeah. Uh, rating wise, I'm going to give it a 93. 93 overall. Great beer. That oxidation knocks it back a little bit. Um, if it was perfectly kept, it'd probably be approaching the mid to high 90s. Um, valued availability. I mean, you know, it's a five year old bottle of beer, so your availability is going to be poo poo. So, it's a two because. Why two? Because I can get more of it, so that's why I give it a two instead of a one. Um, value and availability. Um, again, it's an aged beer, but uh, it was via trade. But, I mean, if I added up the trade value of this, you're looking anywhere from combine what I traded and what he gave me, it was a 10 to $14 bottle of beer. And that's pretty much what it costs brand new, so you can't squawk at that. So what I paid for it is a 10 on a value scale, but again, your mileage may vary. So there you go. Old Numskull, five years old, does not suck. Uh, if you like what we like this, if you like aged beer, you'll like this. If you like English barley wines, but you want to drink an American barley wine and want it to taste like an English barley wine, you'll like this. Uh, if you like sugar daddies, you'll like this. And if you like good beer, you'll like this. So there you go. Another review of the books. While well, that beer sweats and I sweat. Um, absolutely fantastic beer. Ages treat it well. Like I said, we just love to get a perfect bottle that had zero oxidation going on. That would be absolutely fantastic. So here you go, another review in the books. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the review. If you did or you didn't or somewhere in between, please leave a comment in the comment section below. If you'd like, check us out anywhere else on the internet. You can. Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, on tapped. Massive beers in all four of those places. And uh, yeah, another review down. So hopefully you guys enjoyed the review. Hopefully you're enjoying a nice five-year-old beer right now. And um, Hope to see you next time. Cheers.